Well, good morning, rally friends. It's day two of the Alpine Rally of East Gippsland, and what a day we have in front of us here. Yesterday was just a little taster of what we have ahead today. Today, nine stages. Would you believe 170 kilometers? Stage nine, that is the interesting stage. It's a monstrous 55 kilometers. We head east today towards Orobos. Similar kind of stages that we mixed. They're all gravel stages, but a mixed kind of surface. Remember yesterday, I suppose the defining feature of those stages was just how slippery it was out there. I'm expecting much of the same today. The weather is set fair. Have a look, Johnny Boy, at the skies. It is absolutely glorious. Beautiful sunshine, not too bad temperatures. Let's go have a word. Come this way, see if we can grab a word with one or two of our boys heading out. Our top crews have already headed out. I want a word with this man here, though. It's Owen. Now, look at this, car number 62. Yeah, and he's starting round about 10th on the road. Let's go have a very quick word with Owen before he heads out. Owen, you had a great day yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we had a good solid day. Just trying to think about, we'll say it's an endurance event and good, a good pace and just solid driving. An Irishman in a Mark II Escort, you know, that seems to be the way to go for Irishmen these days. Yeah, yeah, I think most lads with uh, Irish Relling sees uh, Mark II Escorts and uh, they're, uh, they're, they're, a great, they're a great car, so hopefully we'll have a bit of luck with it. Keeping a wee eye on what's going on in Killarney? Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> hopefully Sunday evening we'll, uh, we'll be finished our own rally and we'll be able to sit back and enjoy the historics. Great stuff, go have a good day. Uh, whoa, watch the cars on the road here. Ah, let's go have a word with uh, the boys here in car number six. Good morning, Carl. How are you doing? Yeah, a lot better today. Had a decent sleep last night, which was nice. So It's more than I got. I slept really badly last night, but it doesn't matter. When the rally cars start up, we're all alive, aren't we? Big day ahead. How'd you tackle a day like today? Uh, see how it goes on the first stage, see how the car feels, and then just try and hold a consistent pace the whole way through and just drive your own rally. And is it picking the pace up a wee bit? Uh, I hope to today. Yeah, had more sleep, so I hope I'm a little bit more functional today. Good man, go for it. There we go. Let's head along this way. Uh, Jeff, is it? Yeah, Jeff, let's have a wee word with Jeff. Jeff, let's, um, if we can come into the door here, Jeff, sorry. Uh, I know that you're just preparing to head off into the stages. Such an enormous day ahead today. Yeah, that's right. Um, the biggest day of the rally, so hopefully we make it through, I guess. What about that 55 kilometer stage, stage nine? How do you approach that? Um, well, hopefully with a good set of rear tyres, to be honest, just to get through. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, just depends on temperature too, I guess. I think today is not as bad, like won't be too hot, so should be all right to get through that stage. Well, have a good one, mate. We'll watch and uh, see how the guys go. Look, such wonderful little cars, some of these. That's a little, what is that? Uh, boys, that's a Mazda, isn't it? It's a little Datsun. That's what I meant, a Datsun 1600. That's exactly what I meant. Uh, now, another car from the 80s, I guess, this one. Let's have a word with Alan, see how things went. Alan, we spoke to you at the end of stage three yesterday. You seemed very calm indeed, and this morning, you're just as calm, but it's a big day ahead. Big day ahead, yeah, this is the big day. So, yeah, this is when it all happened, I presume. So. What, what do you know about these stages? Do you know much about what we can expect? What sort of surface, similar to yesterday? No, I think from memory, I think where we're going, it's a little bit harder, bonier surface, I think. So, yes, that was a little bit sandy and in spots and a bit loose, so I'm sort of hoping it sort of, to be honest, hardens up a little bit. And that can mean tyre wear can be an issue. Any concerns about that? Yeah, it can be, but I found yesterday there was just so much wheel spin because it was so loose, we were just shredding them. So, hopefully, a bit more grip today and it'll last a bit longer. So I'm sure you'll enjoy it. All the very best. So there we go, folks. What a day we have in front of us here for day two of the Lock and Load Alpine Rally of East Gippsland. As I say, nine stages, 170 kilometres. Stick with us for all the action as it unfolds on the stages around Orobos. We'll catch up with you later on in the day. Oh.